I mean, I don't know how to raise this. So I guess I'll just have to come out and say it. There actually is one good thing about being circumcised. I want you all to meditate for a split moment on tiny little penises and my micro penis. And I'm going to just share with you how circumcised men, those lucky men whose parents chop the tip of their dick off, they will never suffer from a problem that afflicted, afflicted me today. I'd say once in every 10 urinations, 10 pisses, the following happens to me. I'm a tall man, and so when I stand above a toilet bowl, I make sure I point my willy with good aim straight into the toilet bowl, yeah? And I'll aim it, and I'll point it, and then I will do whatever that internal thing is where you relax your bladder and you let rip, and the fire hose fills up, and the feelings of joy as your urine exits your body are great, and you're pointing your dick straight at the pot toilet bowl. But then, my big saggy wizard sleeve foreskin will turn a direct trajectory into a loose fire hose. And though you're pointing your penis straight at the toilet bowl, your urine, your piss, goes all over the floor, or that way. Sometimes, I have even had forked penis. Have you guys ever had this? Where your urine, your piss, goes in two different directions, like that. Like a forked tongue of a reptile. Reptiles. That connects me nicely to my next story. No, it doesn't really. But this is a message to all those parents out there who are either having little babies right now, or are thinking about having little babies. I mean, if they're female, we all know that the moral right thing to do is to ensure that your daughter can never enjoy sex. We need to make sure that she has to be ripped to pieces upon childbirth and circumcise that girl. Chop out the outer labia, chop out the inner labia, and just to make sure so that your daughter remains true to God because religion is a wonderful thing. And like, I'm sure Abraham and Jesus and Muhammad and Buddha and Vishnu and Ganesh and Zeus and El and Elohim and Yahweh, these gods, when they were designing the human body, they thought, yeah, what we need is to use rusty spoons or rusty blades or flint or whatever, yeah? The dirtier the better, the more threat of infection, the more holy you are. What we need to do is get these knives and when the baby is at its most vulnerable, when it's crying and its face is all screwed up because it's upset and it wants a cuddle or it wants some milk, because we believe in God, because God is such a wonderful concept through a religion, don't connect direct to the source. Use a religion, so much easier. Priest will tell you what to do. Priests are very trustworthy. We'll get this blade and we'll carve out the clitoris of the little girl. Perfect. Makes happy children. And me, as I, in fact, I can feel it right now. I can feel it down there. Look at that, wearing the old Love Police t-shirt, like the loser that I am, harking back to better days, the halcyon days of the Love Police. Anyway, in there, there's a big, nasty, uncircumcised penis. And making urine hit the floor is unacceptable. And I wish my parents had had the foresight, the foresight to chop foreskin, because the thought that billions of years of evolution gave me a foreskin is obviously wrong. The children of Abraham know better. Chop it off. This is that moment in the video where let's try and be a bit serious here. Oh, someone's arrived. One moment.